An Orobot from New Hampshire launched out of Vandenberg Space Force Base today. And as News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez reports, it's the first of its kind. Rogue Space System launched their first Orobot from Vandenberg Space Force Base. Rogue is redefining what it what space industry means. Rogue CEO Jeremy Grimmett says Barry the AI robot may create a space economy. What we're testing is our ability to uh, let it see and have that brain aggregate that information and process that information so that when we're executing a maneuver or we're executing um, uh, a robotic uh, repair or maintenance on something, it can think, it can see, it can perceive. Chief Architect Barbara Plante says Barry the Orbot is the first of its kind. The Orbots all together create an, like an economy, an ecosystem in space. And I'm not aware of someone else that is going to that level of scaling. What we want to be able to do is maintain satellites, refuel them, uh, repair them, remove space debris. Plante, who has been in the space industry for more than 30 years, says it is a new era of space technology. We're going to the moon now. We're going back. And so Rogue wants to be a really, really significant part of that. And that's my job. And that's what I need to make happen. Grimmett says Rogue evolved from the love of space and the perseverance of a small startup company from New Hampshire. Getting this type of space heritage and being a reflection of what a, a small company in a small town can actually do, I think is, is huge for pretty much any small town. In Vandenberg Space Force Space, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez.